and welcome back to another episode of War Tales Pirates of Valerian. My name is Saik and today we're continuing our Yar Pirates playthrough as we are conquering the DLC and are trying to find out what's in store for us. Today on the menu is uh, finally getting that divine appetite uh, tree done and afterwards uh, going to Deja's palace and then doing some exploration down here. So join me as we're finally giving that sacred tree the med that it was looking for the entire time. The bush says thank you. Really? I should have kept my mouth shut, huh? It's wrong to trick the faithful, I know, but with all the things people leave lying under this tree, it's so tempting and I'm so hungry. Well, You're absolutely here you go. Right. I'll try to make it up to the residents. Thanks for not killing me or turning... Well, that was a fun little twist, um, but not exactly what I would have expected. Whilst we're here, uh, let's get a bounty, and then we already have 500 gold pieces worth of bounty. This will just uh, make it more. Good, let's take a really, really good look. I would like to hit as many of them as possible. Got an archer here, and I think that that guy needs to die first. So, let's take care of the archer. Hit, kill, done. Good. Now it is time to test the limits. You three look like a perfect set of uh, fools that uh, want to be slain in one go. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Yeah. Yep. Alright, we got a bit of poison on uh, onto us, but boy, that was worth uh, worth it. Very much so. Good hit. Blinding both of them, just for the sake. Gnome deals even more damage and gets him down in one go. Okay, cool. damage that was rather easy but it was a easy uh, a easy bounty we definitely need to get our uh, diseases cured uh, got ourselves a nice helmet here level eight which I think would be better than the ones that we're wearing and that's a three star as well Good, got some nice ringleader coifs. Uh, they are always good for dex based characters. Alright, who has our ship? 
Oh, I see. We just landed it somewhere else. Good. We got a bit of equipment, but our equipment that we're already having is better, so all of that is for sale. I'll ride over here and we'll continue there. No need to show you the travel time. Okay, so we made our little stop. We're in Perbast and I created a couple of items which I wanted to do anyways. Just want to give you a bit uh, behind the scene look and feel. So for starters, um, I think these new brooches are fantastic, but it requires a high level armor. So ah, unfortunately they will need to wait. I rushed getting them, but it didn't work out fully. Well, in that case, let's just use the normal armor uh, improvements that we do have. I have a little bit more than that stored, so don't you worry. Our tank is now up to 65 guard. And I wonder, Noodle Keeper, the 25% uh, percent guard isn't completely bad either, so that already helps. The second one is I got Regeneration Oil. Every time this unit ends the turn next to an ally and is not engaged in combat, they regain their health. And I felt that was really good for specifically longer fights. Um, I am wondering for our tank, that is definitely great. And I think for our op tank, Noodle Keeper, that isn't bad either. So we got that one going. I am considering reskilling him into that more bruiser style. Uh, I think that would uh, fit him nicely. Uh, that also gives us the option to check out uh, another spec of his. Um, so that's really it. We are done over here. Did well, healed everybody, regenerated uh, their armor as well, or repaired it, and we're up to uh, 3,000 crowns. Now all we need to do is... get up to the palace and uh, trade in whatever we needed to trade in. I think she just wanted to speak with us because we have solved the case and hopefully we get the 100% then. don't want to fight bandits. We have had plenty of encounters and more to come. A random Joe Schmo uh, bandit group is no challenge for us. Are we now getting an audience after solving all of that? Well, well. The mercenaries finally deign to honor us with their presence. Well then, Hector Halliers, do go on with your tale. The I... Yes, the sea serpent. Now that the mercenaries are here, they can confirm it. We were still in the mists around Ferroth Island, when suddenly it lunged up from the depths. The monster swallowed a whole ship before our very mm -hmm. eyes. Here's assembly. This creature is what's been attacking the people of Valeria. We must destroy it, as my ancestor... This is ridiculous. Dear Hecket, did you really summon the Deer's Assembly to listen to such wild fantasies? Pirates are to blame, that's who. Oh, it's a court of three uh, Deer's, and I thought it's but the same one all over. So focused on that, you'd realize that the pirates are suffering unexplained losses as well. So Dicia is only made. the title, and I see. Well, such a huge monster. If what this man says is true, we may as well leave the archipelago right now. But that's just it. 
I found the weapon my ancestor used. According to his diary, he found it in the tomb of the archipelago. I'm sure it could defeat the monster. The weapon of the ancients. Don't you think it's time you showed it to us? Why has Hector Halios kept this weapon hidden? Why does... Bring out my ancestors? What if those accursed deers refuse to give it back to me? It's up to me to fight the sea serpents. Come on. Why, Don't be ridiculous. I only needed you for a very short time. Just because I couldn't take on... All right, all right. I suppose you're probably... Why has Hector Halios kept this Dear. weapon hidden? It's true. This is clearly ancient craftsmanship. There were others like this in Ara before Mir's curse buried them under the ice. This is no ordinary spear. Take a closer look. It's a bolt for an enormous ballista. In that case, we'll need the launcher. If Valerian found this bolt in the tomb of the archipelago, then the ballista will most likely be there too. Mercenaries. The Deus Assembly will pay for this expedition if you agree to bring us the Ballista or some way of building. Hector Halios will join you as he seems very eager to follow in his ancestors' footsteps. Huh. I don't uh, like the idea of Hector following us. That's a really, really bad idea. Fear not. You shall... All right, so we need to slay the Sea Serpent. It's all nicely coming uh, together, isn't it? And in order to do that, Hector. Okay, luckily he's not even fighting with us. It's a good spear, by the way. I'll give you that. Uh, we need a lot of torches. And we have like zero at the moment. And of course, we're short on Greece. Well, once I gather that, uh, we're going to speed up the time. And once I do have enough torches, we are going on to that expedition. Good, we are back. And I got myself 10 torches. Took a while. Also got myself a nice little upgrade. We are now a legendary craftsman in alchemy. And I saw that they added a few alchemical recipes for offense to make them even better. Now I do have throwing axes that uh, cause bleeding and that is good together with our right between the eyes because we can first make them bleed and then they will take extra damage. So when I was about to move, it just dawned on me that there is yet another captain who hasn't learned his lesson. So let's go and uh, teach him one. All right, so we got a cable down here. You're going to be the jumper for that. And we got a cable up here. You're going to be the jumper. Ah, you know what, our tank is going to be the jumper for that. Cool. Moving on. Early damage into a nice little pushback. And we got a triple plank set up here. Interesting. They go for the ballista, which, as we know by now, is a sizable mistake. We'll put our tank far behind uh, enemy lines. Oh, Rodelbert, Rodelbert, uh, he's the boss. No problem, our tank will take him. Enemy archer might be able to get, yeah, definitely will be able to get to us.
They all seem to favor this AoE bow. Not sure how I feel about it. I like the uh, upfront crit. Uh, are they? Yeah, I think they're just jumping into us as well. Okay, fair enough. Don't have the movement to fully get over there, but I think we do have the movement to kill one of them and then sprint back to get out of his range. One negative about it is we just got rid of our first strike. Keep in mind the first strike uh, is always, since we skilled Executioner, always deals 250% of the damage compared to a normal attack. So that's why we oftentimes can kill multiple enemies. But my theory is an enemy killed and taken off is a good enemy. Trouble. Every time this unit attacks, they sustain 20% of the damage dealt. Oh, wow. That's a nasty ability. I think we can get some of these guys down. That should reset our movement. Which it wonderfully does. Both blackened out. I think we're going to focus on the Buccaneer. We haven't critted enough. Too sturdy. Can't get him down in one go, but injured him severely. And we're moving back. Cool. Once we're landing here, it's gonna be legendary. There we go. One overboard and one heavily injured. Defensive stance that doubles our guard. And Noodle Keeper should be good to take one or two hits. We're now at 50% guard. The AI focuses rescuing their bodies. Couldn't have killed him because I didn't have a standard action with Noodle Keeper left. What just happened? Not cool. This is a problem. Pretty major one. I'm not sure how or who. The ballista is still loaded, so that couldn't be the case. We need to disengage here, of course, but deals a lot of damage. can't really help the others. What we can do though is challenge these two. And then follow up with 
some really nice damage. Further crit. Still not 100% sure how how we man how they managed to get us off board. get him yes we can there we go problem solved got him there is the kill and we put orderly on because we need way 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 more uh, Vela points Unfortunately, can't reach him. That would be four Vela points. We'll get a few more next turn. Okay, apparently. The ship is moving by itself. Defensive stance is fine. Let's attack him. Bit of rage. We're engaging. Fire the ballista. Well, that's enough. Valor. To uh, keep everybody busy. There is the kick. Very nice hit. Unfortunately, we're taking some damage back, but that's okay. As long as Rodelbert is weakened, we good. Good, the rest is now stubbornness, we just... Waves push all units back two meters. Okay, well... I suppose we don't want to stand at the edge. Nor do we want to stand in the middle of a lightning. Good. This duel might become a bit problematic. Let's see how how we're going to do. I'll kill every last one of you. So he is vexed in case of double action, leaves very little room to react, and gains upper hand in case of a double parry. K 
kill every little one of you. That sounds like defensive. That is a insult. Why won't you leave me alone? That is a parry. He's quite easy to read. I'll never back down. Uh, that looks like an attack. There we go. Oh, Rotorbell, it's not looking good. You leave me alone? Lucky, murderer, child of the beast. Well, that was it. Sword to the gut. Um, and that is the end of Rotorbird. Killed in a memorable duel. almost ready for position number two and we got ourselves a every time this unit attacks they sustain oh that is great and a helmet and a turban This snowball actually quite uh, well done. I would say I'm interested in that trinket. We currently got a trinket uh, that is movable, but I really, really like the troubled one, which now allows us to reflect 20% of the damage that we are receiving. Might even be something He would take a lot of damage. Uh, oh, by the way, ah, I should have mentioned that. Uh, I have indeed reskilled. So we're now a wrestler. You might have seen that in the last combat. And I've also reskilled into adaption uh, to change the stances more often. So I hope that he's now going to be a good off tank. Uh, with, the def with defense, uh, he will uh, be able to get up to 50 guard, which is good. Good, it has been a while, but I finally managed to get together all of the material and we got 10 nice uh, torches. Also, whilst we were uh, creating all of that, I built quite a few throwing axes. So found out that there is an alchemical uh, set. They reworked alchemy so that you can now also kind of uh, improve Throwing weapons, offhand weapons, uh, which is great. I love it. Uh, well done change. And now our job will be to explore this cave. And hopefully we will find a way to get that... Um, to get that ballista that everybody was talking about. So... First, let's close the mechanism here. Does that still allow us to go forward? Yes, it does. But the pool is empty. And this pool, unfortunately, is still full. There's the ballista. Mercenaries, is this, is this what we've been looking by the beast's fangs? How are we supposed to get this thing out of here? It's impossible. 
Lister is missing a part. Let's first of all put the spear in. Hmm. Shall we shoot it into the wall? Now I understand why my hands. Maybe if we study this machine closely, we can find a way to build one like it. Hmm. I wonder. Let's shoot against the wall. Place it. Shoot again. Uh, wall doesn't go down. There we go. I was under the impression we might get it out. All right, where's the spear? Uh, spear. Well, of course, we found some more creepers. Let's go. All right. We don't know how many enemies are here. Throwing that there. Spotted a rat on the way. That's good. That resets our movement. Thankfully our rogue is like the fastest person alive. Okay. For a brief moment, that low blow visualized everything. Rodent is bleeding. Down to 11. And we got it. We got it well. Finally, everybody becomes orderly. And we know that there is creeper right in front of us. Another rodent. We move up, we hit the creeper, we continue to hit the creeper, end of turn, more rodents. Alright, we kill the creeper. No! 
And we're getting those uh, two rodents down. Very nice. Um, charging back. And that's the f uh, one of the first times where we actually found most of them before they could attack us. You know, we are attacking from the darkness. We managed to nicely find it. Defensive stance is on. Hit, hit. Quick uh, stance change again into aggressive stance. Trying to finish this guy. Nine hit point left. Every single stance change now gives us rage. Uh, at least that's theoretically how it should work. Okay, fantastic. Ah, that's the first time that our tactic didn't really work. Reaper comes in. We need to counter by moving away. Quickly teach him his place with 171 crit. And we're being hit for massive one point of damage. Good, Roden down, Creeper down. And where's the last one? Can we see them? No. Although I like that animation, I was hoping, besides revealing the terrain, that it would also reveal them. There's one Roden somewhere, and we need to find it. Okay, off we go. We are going into defensive stance. Nice little hit. Going into aggressive stance again. And finishing off with four attacks. Good. One time repair, thank you. And we go for two repairs here. Okay, so this is really just a way of destroying the sea creature. This tablet, I'm sure, can you decipher it? 
We must understand what... I'm going back to tell D... Okay, we have Treasure of the Ancient. Stone Tablet. Okay, we need to decipher exactly that. Cool little hidden direction here. And it didn't even take us nowhere near as much time as I thought it would take us. Uh, what I will say though is Noodle Keeper will give up his mining experience, uh, which is too bad because a Having a better miner would have been good, but I suppose it's just not meant to be. And instead you're beginning to decipher that, which is only going to take one night, apparently. Good. The Ballista range and rate of fire are increased by 50%. Saurian scale, Arcadian steel, sandstone, and two hoists. We have all of that. So we can very, very much upgrade that. Codex management. Now that can't not be, uh, yeah, okay. Good, whilst you are researching that, I think we will need to build that ballista. Cool. So little pro tip, if you are playing the DLC, try to not go here before you uh, do not have the spear. That uh, saves you one trip. Or just ignore what I said and uh, do it exactly in the same order. I think it might be... Oh, it is an, a ship upgrade, of course. Never mind. Good, we need the Arcadian steel and the hoists, but we can get that. Matter of fact, we do have that, we just need to put it into uh, the backpack. So. I stored a couple of hoists, stored a lot of Arcadian steel. Saurian scale and sandstone. And a few wooden planks. So, sorry, and scales got that, and sandstone got that as well. Repair our ship, yes, please. Upgrade to the Ancients Ballista. <laughs> Very nice. Look at our ship. So good. Uh, 
Okay, look, all we need to do now is ping the report back, which would be over here. Uh, get that easy reward over here first, and then we're reporting back. All right, give me a sec. Okay, after getting uh, these guys down, we're now finally discussing war strategy against that sea serpent. Let's see what the ruler council of uh, these islands will say. I heard that you translated the plans. So, we have an ancient weapon of war in our possession. Even if you were lying about the sea serpent, we'll at least have something to scare off the pirate once you've built this ballista. Join Dia Ninsun at the shipyard. She'll be in charge of organizing our forces. You and Hector Halios will be part of the expedition. The lack of consensus in the Dias assembly means I can't mobilize the whole guard, but... I can use the treasure of Pervast to pay you. Okay, cool. Well, and we got another recipe. Right? I just saw that we got a recipe. Am I have I dreamt that up? No. Steel Warhead, Ancient Ballista, we already got that. Fletched Projectiles, potentially something that you can smith, right? No, not, right. Good, in which case we will need to finish this and then are off to potentially hunting the snake. But that will happen in the next episode. We are well over time. Thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoy pirates up like the ones in Valerian, leave a comment and a like down below and honor this playthrough. Thanks a lot. See you in the next episode. Bye bye.